Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. After famous chip expert Liang Mengsong joined SMIC, the mass production of the 14 nanometers process was realized in just three years. For the higher 7 nanometers process, the technology has already been overcome. Unfortunately, Due to the impact of chip regulations, EUV lithography machines cannot be obtained, resulting in the inability to complete the corresponding mass production. ASML in the Netherlands is the only company in the world that can produce EUV lithography machines. It can be said that it has completely monopolized the mid to high end market. The rest of the lithography machine manufacturers can only compete in the DUV field. It is necessary to break through the monopoly of EUV equipment. China's scientific research institutions have achieved breakthroughs in core technologies, such as dual workpiece stage technology, an extreme ultraviolet light source. Do you have the confidence to fight back? How difficult is it to manufacture EUV lithography machines? To manufacture a 7 nanometers chip, it is necessary to integrate tens of billions of transistors within the size of a fingernail. Its manufacturing difficulty can be imagined, and it can only be realized by using an EUV lithography machine. The manufacture of this device requires more than 100,000 transistors. Components require the use of top technologies from more than 20 countries around the world, and even ASML only achieves 10% of its technology autonomy. The most difficult thing is the light source technology. The difficulty level of the light source system is much higher than that of DUV. It needs to excite molten tin droplets through a high power carbon dioxide laser. After nonlinear multiphoton absorption occurs, 13.5 nanometer light waves are emitted through spontaneous emission. The lithography machine must be vacuumed so both the optical collection system and the objective lens system in EUV use reflectors coated with multilayer molybdenum silicon interference optical films, unlike DUV, which can also use refractive lenses. In short, the manufacturing of EUV lithography machine is very difficult, and it needs to meet extremely high technical level and process requirements in all aspects. This is also ASML's daring statement. Even if the drawings are put in front of China, China will not be able to manufacture high-end lithography machines. There is indeed nothing wrong with this sentence. Without the support of global supply, it is indeed difficult for China to realize the autonomy of lithography machines. With the efforts of the Western countries, they also succeeded in shutting up the Western countries. EUV lithography machine achieves a breakthrough. According to the news confirmed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the Changchun Institute of Optics and Mechanics has indeed made a major breakthrough in the EUV light source prototype, and the origin of the technology can be traced back to the 1990s. In 2002, the research team produced the first EUV light source prototype. Engraved principal device. After decades of polishing, Changchun Institute of Optics and Mechanics has not disappointed the Chinese people. Light source technology is an important part of high-end lithography machines. The EUV light source prototype will lay a solid foundation for subsequent mass production machines. Based on this equipment, 
Optical components can be processed. Electronic control, vacuum system, and other technical tests to ensure the stability of the EUV lithography machine. If you really count it, it is not that China does not have its own lithography machine industry, but it has been suppressed by Western countries in the past, which has led to a disconnect from the global supply chain, and has been instilled with the thinking that it is better to buy than to buy, and it is better to rent than to buy, which directly leads to the loss of the spirit of independent research and development, has created the dominance of ASML in the Netherlands, Nikon in Japan, and Canon in Japan. At present, the lithography machine process that can be mass-produced in China is 90 nanometers, and there is still a gap with the current market demand. However, through the continuous efforts of Shanghai Microelectronics, as long as it can solve the problem of the supply chain, it has a way to assemble a 28 nanometers lithography machine has been produced. In addition, Shanghai Microelectronics has reached an advanced level in the packaging lithography machine in the back channel and can provide customers with 2.5D and 3D packaging lithography machines. It is already considered commendable. I believe that with the participation of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, domestic lithography machines will soon achieve breakthroughs. China's reciprocal countermeasures against the United States have worked. Under the pressure of the United States, after the signing of the tripartite agreement between the United States, Japan and the Netherlands, only the 1980 DI model of lithography machines can be exported by ASML in the Netherlands. Although they are all discussing how to restore the supply, it is difficult to have results in the end. It is even more straightforward, directly cutting off the shipment of 23 items of core-making equipment. The purpose of all this is to lock China's semiconductor technology at 14 nanometers, but apparently the United States has underestimated China's determination to break the ice. A comprehensive peer-to-peer -peer countermeasure Since the launch of the comprehensive review of Micron, the Biden team has been given a dismissal. In the entire Sino-US technology game, there is already a corresponding answer as to who will suffer the most heavy losses. U.S. companies are highly dependent on the Chinese market. After the shipment, not only the market value was lost by more than half, but the revenue and profit also plummeted. At present, we can only rely on layoffs to maintain normal operations. In contrast, China, after losing the supply of high-end chips from U.S. companies, put all its energy on independent research and development. Although it has an impact on the overall layout, it is still within a controllable range. With the development of EUV lithography machines breakthrough, China also has full confidence. What do you think of this?